like mentally breaking down so i can't i don't know if i can not stop crying or not i'm just like i was like you know what i'm gonna share my ramadan experience with people i'm gonna try to just like ignore hate come on to my videos but i can't do it anymore I can't. I mean, done. I'm tired of being the beating post of an incredibly disgusting, toxic community. Tracy, I'm not going to be on YouTube uh, as a platform anymore. I can't. Oh boy, have you seen Chantel's latest video? It's like a soap opera, but with extra drama and a side of conspiracy theories. Behind the scenes, something juicy is definitely going on. It's like a mystery waiting to be solved. But instead of a detective, we have Chantel and her loyal audience of sleuths, who need Sherlock Holmes when you have the queen of mukbangs. But let's talk about Chantel's rage. She's got more fire in her belly than a dragon on a hot sauce binge. But here's the thing, she doesn't have the balls to confront the person who pissed her off. Instead, she's throwing shade left, right, and center like a pro wrestler in the ring. It's like a game of dodgeball, but with insults instead of balls. And who needs therapy when you have an online audience to vent your frustrations to, am I right? So sit back, grab your popcorn, and get ready for the drama to unfold. Because in Chantel's world, nothing is ever boring. It's just, it's not even worth it for me. It's not worth it. I mean, I, put, I spend all this time on a video. Um, whether people think it's garbage or not, they sure are quick to use it for their own content. I know you guys love me, and I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do um, if I'm going to continue on social media. If I do, it's not going to be this platform because... I've complained so many times to YouTube about how, like, just how, how much, like, I've just reported so many times just the most inappropriate things, and they don't care. Like, they just don't care about the mental well-being of their creators. No, it's not a big decision all of a sudden. It's, this is not an impulse. Like, I know I'm impulsive. <sighs> But behind the scenes, I've really, 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 really talked to Solo a, lo a lot about it. I'm just, I'm just tired of just being the center of all this negativity. People trying to ruin my life, people coming for me, like, I, I don't know, like, I really just don't. It's just not even, it's not worth it for me anymore, because, well, Tracy, I think I'm going to take a long break from social media then, you know, because... See, she's finally facing some financial repercussions, and she's not sure if she can even afford to keep her scammer husband around. That's right, folks, it's a tale as old as time. A girl meets a guy, scams him into thinking she's rich and famous, and now she's worried she won't have enough dough to keep the charade going. Remember during the Nader saga when her fallback was always I'm making bank? Ha <laughs> ha Well, those days are long gone, my friends. Now, she's resorting to censorship, fake content, and boring couple blogs to keep the cash flowing. But here's the thing, everything she and Sal are doing to fix things is only sinking her ship faster. It's like trying to patch up a sinking boat with duct tape. Sure, it might work for a little bit, but eventually, it's going to go down. It's just not worth it. Like, seriously, like how? Like, the amount of views I make versus other people reacting to my content and making it horrible and just being completely fat shaming, um, being like just everything, just like completely bastardizing it, just completely tearing it apart. For like, for what? Like, what's, how is it even lucrative for me anymore? How is it even worth it? You know, it's not, it's not worth it for me. I don't watch people, but I know what they're saying. And it's just, it's no, it's not worth it for me. It's not worth it for me to spend time and effort to do a video. Um, only to have be attacked and instantly, the minute I upload, people steal my content. Steal it and make more money than me. So why, what's the point of me being on YouTube? What's the point? What's the point? If you want to cancel your memberships, yes. Flo, go ahead. But like, put yourself in my shoes and really think like, it's really, really hard for me already. I struggle with a lot of mental disorders and I'm trying to be, to get better and to be, be better. And, you know, my ring is off because I was doing the dishes. 
<laughs> I'm done with it. I'm done being, like I said, I'm done being, being host of these degenerate people who are insanely disgusting. I, I can't even, like, the amount of things that YouTube allows people to get away with. Um, they don't allow on another platforms. Before Kuwait, Chantal was like a breath of fresh air. She never paid much attention to the reaction channels, and her critics and haters were like gnats to her. She'd rage at Nader, but she'd always have her community of affectionate trolls to keep her spirits up. And let's not forget the silliness. There was always something crazy going on with Chantal. She'd be out of her gourd high, laughing with her fans, and having a grand old time. But then Kuwait happened. Now now, all she does is see that her critics, it's like she's got a bone to pick with the entire internet. And the worst part, she's less sympathetic for it. Raging at Nader was one thing, but now she's taking shots at the darlings of the community, the people who adore her, and have intense parasocial bonds with her, and don't even get us started on the cats. She neglected them and showed zero remorse or affection when she rehomed them, and when confronted with their potential death and neglect neglect crickets. It's like she's lost all sense of empathy. The fun and silliness are gone, and in their place, rants and rages. The sympathy is gone too, and honestly, she behaves so much worse than before. It's like her redemption arc has backfired spectacularly. Um, it's not even about a break. It's just that as long as I'm on this platform, it's just going to be vulture after vulture, just like... I, I can't explain to you, like, you're, if you're not a creator, you would never understand. Like, taking your time, to being vulnerable, and I mean, I, I know there's always going to be haters, but then there's haters, and then there's haters. Like, there's people where it actually affects your um, mental health, where it actually affects your income. It's just not worth it for me. It's not worth it. So, um, I don't know. I definitely need a break. Um, especially, yeah, with Ramadan and all the changes, and just, like, I'm going through a lot, you know? Like, I, I hate YouTube anymore. I hate, I hate thinking of, like, oh, I have to upload, you know? Like, oh, I have to upload. I really just hate it. So this will be my last stream. Um, really, really don't get it. And then there's people like, oh, well, you have to be accountable for your actions. How do I have to be accountable to a complete stranger on the internet who doesn't know me? Who doesn't know anything about my life? Why do I have to be accountable for that? I don't think so. Like, <laughs> the only person I have to be accountable to is God. They're the type of people who cause what they're saying themselves. That's what they want, you know? They want people to harm themselves. It Back in the day, Chantal could make us laugh, despite being a bit of a messed up person. But boy, has she changed. She's got skin as thin as tissue paper and can't handle any criticism, even if it's constructive. But here's where things get really juicy. Chantal and Amberlynn have both hit a breaking point where they're no longer vulnerable and authentic. Instead, they're playing some weird version of themselves as perfect people who never make mistakes. It's like they're putting up an opaque facade that we can all see through, but they can't bear to be wrong and give the haters a win. And as a result, they've destroyed their channels. Now, it's just rage, rage, and more rage from Chantal. She's unhappy and backed herself into a corner, but can't seem to see a way out. It's like a train wreck we can't look away from. Yeah, I'm done with it, Tracy. I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm just done. Like, I'm done being fat shamed by other fat people on the internet who have immensely deep-rooted, disgusting problems with themselves. I'm done with it. I'm done with being the being post of that community. I'm over it. So find something else to do with your life. How about you go talk about that man that you were talking about when I wasn't posting? You made 5,000 views. She, she makes 40,000 views talking about me and 5K with this loose, these other people that she talks about. Like, I'm done with it. I'm not going to be on a platform to make less money than somebody and they just do nothing but bully me. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And being on a, the same platform as these people, um feels like like they're in my home with me like I, I just like mentally i just can't be i don't know i just don't even feel the same about being on here at all i think maybe maybe it is time for a change like maybe i'm supposed to do something else you know i'll community post you guys and let you know um we might release some driving videos but um, as for vlogs together no i don't want to even i don't even want to share my life with people on here like other than you guys i don't want to share my life i'm okay for money like my husband works and has a business so i mean whenever people are using your own content to believe in making more money doing that anyway what's the what is the incentive for me to even be on here really can anyone answer that i'll have you know i'm not escaping to uh, from canada to evade taxes 
You, I, ha I already explained that many times. I have a payment plan arranged. It's none of your business. It's not even anyone's business. Like, why am I even talking about this with people? Why are people even making accounts about me and my taxes? Like, it's so incredibly ridiculous. I can't even hit it. I can't. I can't. Like, I'm not, like, emotional. Like, I'm having nightmares. Like, I've never met so many evil people in my life. But think I'm evil. I'm <laughs> just trying to better myself. And any time I've ever, ever, ever lost it is because of being pushed to that point. And people do it purposely for their own content. How sick is that? I'm done with this. I'm done with it. They would never get away with it. So why would I want to be in part of a world where you have freedom of speech? But that speech is used to destroy people's psyche. Like, why? No, no, no. Mm -mm. I don't know where Salah is. I guess I'm not supporting me right now, I guess. Could it be that Sala went out to have a feast with some friends, but Chantal wasn't invited? Or maybe she was invited but didn't want to go and threw a tantrum about it? Whatever the reason, it seems like Sala has had enough of Chantal's constant messaging and manipulation. After all, he's going to have to live with her for a few years, so he needs to find a way to stand up for himself and not reward her bad behavior. Maybe, just maybe, Sala is finally growing a pair and refusing to put up with Chantal's antics. It's like a game of cat and mouse, with Chantal trying to manipulate Sala and Sala refusing to be played. So you're gonna tell me that the people who make videos of me every day, shaming my apartment, shaming my husband, shaming my body, are you kidding? Shaming my religion, that I'm not good enough in my religion? Every little thing, are you kidding? Please, when have I done that to anybody? When? Not even close. Not even close. I, I don't even care about anything anymore. Like, I don't. I'm just so fed up with everything. Yeah, I don't know where you are because you're not in the chat and you're not here, so. I ever just feel like you're like screaming and nobody effing hears you? I feel like no one gets it. Nobody understands a single thing. I don't like to burden people in my real life with my problems. Like, I do talk to them. But for people to watch my video, they immediately set up, there's like at least 10 effing people who set up live streams to steal my content and then bully me, like over and over about the most ridiculous things. No, it's not about I would have left already because I've tried, okay, and I thought maybe I'll try putting up my video with something positive, and this was confirmation, so honey, don't worry, I'll be gone. People don't tell me how to feel, okay? I'm allowed to feel how I feel. I don't get it, like I don't get it. How many times do they say her content's so boring? Really? Guess who has live streams already scheduled to talk about that foreign content? Because guess what? You get 5,000 views not talking about me. I love that for you. Well, guess what? Find something else. Um, I don't have to delete my channel. I can earn income on my old videos. Biggins. So, get out of here. Um, you have people like freaking messy moo. Like, did you see the interview she did? Are you serious? We have DMs of your husband messaging Salah and saying, we have the DMs. You, you are a liar. We have the DMs of you saying, that it wasn't you who sent that super chat. So you were clearly a liar and you lied so much. And then as like, um, Islam shaming my abaya looks like a couch cushion, really? <laughs> okay. She's desperate, nobody you want anything to do with her exactly. So she has to kiss up to perfectly imperfect and boozing. Are you kidding me? Well, you can think I'm gonna be back in April, but you'll see it's not gonna happen. In theory, she's all for an alpha man who's strong and dominant. But in reality, she wants to be in charge all the time. And when her wonderful, magnificent, genuine boyfriend isn't by her side, you better believe she's going to let the world know about it. But don't be fooled, this isn't just about money. Chantal loves to play pretend that she has the most enviable relationship and is the happiest woman in the world. So, when Sala wasn't there, she was beyond irate. It's possible they had a fight, or maybe he just didn't bend to her every whim and desire, and this was her way of trying to regain control. And let's not forget how quickly he appeared after she went live during Ramadan. He was probably fuming after hearing her vent about their troubles to her audience. But hey, who needs privacy when you can have drama? So invasive and target and harass you to be to do something about it. Yeah, it's me or them. I'm done. It's me or them. I'm done, I swear. And it's not just criticism. There's legit hate and bully channels, okay? And yes, I'm crying about it because I'm freaking human and I have feelings. I'd really like to know where they get the nerve to comment on my weight when they're just as big. So I try to be positive, but it, you know. And it's like only on this platform. I've never seen, I don't know. Like I don't, it's not the same vibe on like TikTok or 
Any problem? I want you to know. I want you to get out of here. Goodbye. Like, what's your problem? All right, I didn't feel anything. I fasted and I did my prayers. You all need to, I'm allowed to vent. I'm allowed to talk about what's making me miserable. I haven't sw said a single swear word. I haven't attacked anyone personally. Like people do every single day to me and have the nerve to virtue signal. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna rage during Ramadan. I've seen comments of people hoping for a rage during Ramadan. You are the lowest kind of human being with no life and no brain. If you actually hope for people to do this, to, for, to push people to rage when they're trying to better themselves, you're the lowest kind of person if you try to pull someone down when they're trying to better themselves. I feel like I have good karma because I don't do the nasty, disgusting things that a lot of people do. Seriously, just live my life. And yes, I say nasty things when I defend myself sometimes, but I'm pushed to a limit and I just can't help myself sometimes. Um, I don't wish anything bad to happen to Teen Sass. Like, honestly, I think that maybe part of it she brought upon herself getting negative reactions because look how nasty she is. I'm not gonna, I don't wish negative things on her, but honestly, you say some pretty, pretty nasty things, Teen Sass. You really, really, really said some disgusting things, unwarranted, I did nothing to you, and you body shamed me in every video. So, yeah. I'm tired of this whole BBJ thing. Like, people do not realize how traumatizing it was for me to go through with like, what I went through with the cats giving them away. And no, Sam was not shaved. He was not shaved because he was matted. He was shaved many, many, he was shaved months after. We see her pulling off her best smug face as her boyfriend, Sala, enters the room, confirming her little rage was all for show. It's like she wanted to see if she could get him to come running even if it meant doing something he disapproved of. But hey, a few pity super chats and views never hurt anyone, right? Well, it seems like Sala wasn't buying her act either. Despite coming home, he wasn't impressed with her fake affectionate behavior. In fact, in her final moments on YouTube, she's sitting there looking like a hot sausage in badly lit surroundings, while Sala stands over her, telling her to get off the stream and come pray with him. You could practically hear the annoyance in his voice. As a woman in the Middle East, Chantel may encounter many events to which she's not welcome, and this could be one of them. But let's be real, Chantel's I will manipulate the fuck out of you attitude probably won't fly with Salah for long. When you manipulate people over the internet, you don't learn how to deal with the ones who see through your little games in person. And I have a feeling that Salah is one of those people who knows what's up. Chantel may have played her ace card, but I think she just realized she's in for a tough game. I have the text message, not because of Matt's. Sam was well, well taken care of the cats. I already explained what happened a million times. People use this again as a reason to hate. Whatever, I don't care. She has the nerve to be like, why is she wearing an abaya? It's like a couch cover. Because I want to wear an abaya because I'm Muslim, you culturally ignorant buffoon. That's why. I will update you guys if I move to another platform. I'll let you guys know if you guys cancel your membership here and want to pay for a membership. I know TikTok has memberships. Um, it was like the same price, so it would be the same thing, so... <clears throat> I'm not gonna delete my channel, no. I'm just not gonna make any more content on Foodie Beauty for a while, so... Or at least, no, probably anymore. Anything I do gives them f feel, Carolina. It doesn't matter what I do. I try to be positive, I try to be a better person, and I just... Like I said, you ever see that Cinderella moment where, like, the, the cartoon Cinderella? No, I don't think it's Cinderella, but you know what I mean? Where they're pulling the, the wicked stepsisters or like i feel like all of them are the uh, miserable ugly stepsisters that's how i feel being attacked by them <sighs> honestly like just being completely 100 honest with you guys like i can't i can't do it anymore you know like i just think like i'm grieving over things that i didn't think that it would bother me you know i don't even want to talk about them because i don't want to make myself vulnerable and people use that they're, no People have this image of me that's so vile and disgusting. They think because of things that they think that are true. Like, for example, moving here in general. Like, it was so easy. Are you kidding? You don't know what I had to do. Like, to have to make a decision about the cats. And it was made so much more traumatic by how it ended. And nobody gives a crap about that. Nobody thinks anything about how having these pets for that many years. And I miss them every day, you know? I know people said, how could she possibly, how can, like, Missy Pooh, how can she be happy with no windows? Is that your problem? I don't like, I don't love windows, okay? I'm a depressed person, I have anxiety. I like being in the dark most of the time. We have a window in the bedroom. I can go stick my head out and don't worry. <laughs> the farewell stream. I can't wait to be rid of these people. These people, I can't wait. I can't wait. 
Um, you don't have to pay on TikTok, but like you guys are paying for memberships here, so you can do members only live streams on um on TikTok as well. Um, if US bans, I'm not in the US, so if US bans TikTok, I'm not in the US. <laughs> All right, how are you guys? We how do I explain this? Yeah, I will miss. Right? Plus, said, how do I explain this to my coworkers who ask me for updates? Why am I so interesting? I'm so boring. Really? I don't know. Just wait for updates. Um, I'll let you know. All right. All right. What the? So don't make us be what? Be so Don't make us be serious. Come to quiet. <laughs> okay, bye guys. I gotta go. Bye. So what time? Yeah. Bye. Goodbye, guys. She's putting on a performance that rivals Meryl Streep's Oscar-winning role in Sophie's Choice. But wait a minute, something seems off. Is she really crying or just pretending? Her eyes are dabbed, but there are no tears, and she's scrunching up her face like she's crying. But then she flies into a rage mid-sentence. It's like watching a roller coaster ride. And did you catch that beginning? It looked like she turned on the camera and went right into performance mode. Talk about being prepared. There were even a few smiles she tried to conceal. It's all very confusing, but one thing's for sure, Chantel knows how to put on a show. But if this is all an act, why is she doing it? To get more views, of course. It's all about the clicks and views these days, and she knows it. You see, back in the day when she was with Nader, she was raking in the dough. She was living her best life, making anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars a month. And you know what? She was happy about it. She didn't care if reaction channels were getting more views or stealing her content. She was too busy counting her cash to care. But now, things have changed. The money has dried up and suddenly Chantel's got a bone to pick with the reaction channels. She's all like, hey, why are they doing better than me? Why are they stealing my views? And you know what? It all seems a bit fishy to me. I mean, let's be real here. It's not like Chantel suddenly woke up one day and realized that reaction channels were doing better than her. No, no, no. This is all just a performance. She's trying to make us think that she's been wronged. But really she's just upset that she's not making as much money as she used to. So my advice to you, Chantel, is to stop the complaining and get back to making content that people actually want to watch. Trust me, the money will come if you just focus on being yourself.